Hey, I'm Kurt Drew from Omaha, Nebraska, founder of National Radon Defense and uh, Fish Window Cleaning of Omaha. Um, uh, my message is to live now. Sweet, I like it a lot. Take talk. Let's talk. This is the Mitten Shah Show. We've asked the same seven questions to entrepreneurs from all over the world to figure out what makes us tick. Take talk. Let's talk. Welcome, Kurt. Thanks a lot for doing this. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, Kurt, where are you from? And how would you explain what your business does to a seven-year-old child? To a seven-year-old. Okay. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska, and I have two businesses. The first business is cleaning windows. So okay. I think a kid can understand that pretty easy. The second business is uh, I have a franchise business where I help companies expand into indoor air quality services. So basically they're installing systems to improve a home's indoor air quality. Okay, so you make windows cleaner and air cleaner. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what I do. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, what got you started? You know, I was in corporate America in mm -hmm. sales mm -hmm. and um, I was on that corporate treadmill, you mm -hmm. know, and I didn't really see a light at the end of the tunnel working for somebody else. And nobody in my family is really an entrepreneur at all. But I read this book called Rich Dad Poor Dad. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, Robert of Kiyosaki. And I just remember that was kind of like started something in my brain that yeah. said, you know, gee, I want to own my own thing and have my own destiny here. Yeah. Yeah. And so I quit my job and bought a window cleaning business. Okay. <laughs> and everybody said I was crazy, <laughs> except for my wife. Thank God. <laughs> so it all turned out to the, for the best. Okay, uh, yeah, sweet. Yeah. Um, if you can share some experiences of what keeps you up at night and what makes you jump out of bed in the morning. So probably up at night is maybe something with my kids, thinking about something what they're going through, um, maybe issues with employees, you know, maybe you know, thinking through a difficult conversation I have to have with an employee. Uh, could be also uh, a customer issue, maybe, you know, thinking about that, you know. Um, and I learned a trick okay. that if you think about what you're grateful for when you start worrying like that, it works. Like you said, mm -hmm. oh, God, just, you know what, hey, all these worries, I'm so grateful for this and this. And the next thing you know, you're asleep. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's my trick, and it uh, seems to work. Because okay. so, all these worries are just usually not real. real as yeah. uh, You just kind of make them bigger than what they really are. And so, yeah. They're green monsters. So. Green monsters, yeah. <laughs> they are, yeah, they're under the bed. <laughs> yeah. And on the flip side, what makes you jump out of bed? You know, uh, that's a great question. I, I really um, like what I do as far as my businesses go, and uh, I have goals in those businesses to grow them and provide really good service. And so when I get up, I'm thinking about those and uh, uh, anxious to get in and work on projects, uh, meet with people. Um, so it's just kind of a push and forward. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, I'm excited to get up and, and go at it. Yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I don't know if that answers the question yeah. very well, but it's, it's the excitement of of doing something, of yeah. doing what you love. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like the challenge of it, really. Yeah, you know, yeah. and and uh, you gotta get psyched up. And although I don't really find myself rah rahing, I just kind of get up and go do it. Yeah, yeah. Sweet, yeah. sweet. Yeah. Um, what do you know now that you wish you knew when you started? You know, um, probably how important culture is okay. in your business. Um, you know, knowing that the, these building blocks that you're building from a very small business, you have to think kind of with the end in mind about how your culture you want, you know, how important the culture is going to be. Mm -hmm. And so keeping that alive, um, it seems to be really important. Um, and then, you know, the other side of that is the hiring of people to fit that culture, how important that is. Mm -hmm. If I would have known that, mm -hmm. you know, I could have probably gone faster, quicker, you okay. know, with Sweet. the right people with the culture right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, going about faster, quicker, when you do go, uh, you make some mistakes. So if you can share some of these mistakes that others can learn from. You know, just off the top of my head, it's probably people mistakes. You know, okay. hiring the wrong people, uh, or maybe not uh, interviewing hard enough to really get to the core of a person, and then you know, taking a chance on people, and then keeping them too long, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. So I've learned to really slow down and really investigate people and make sure they're a culture fit, but are right fit for the job. And then uh, if they're not, like really get rid of them yeah, quick. Yeah. I mean, usually they're, it's better for them yeah, too, you know, yeah, to yeah. move on to something that's a better fit for them. Yeah. So yeah, I'd say it's the people thing. Cool. Um, what are some of the instances that you're really proud, happy, satisfied, and content with? You know, I think, uh, um, when I, when my business, you know, I help these companies run an indoor air quality business, right? And when they're successful, 
you know, when it works, basically following our system. Mm -hmm. uh, I get a lot of um, pride out of that because, you know, their dream, you know, they're entrepreneurs too, and they're trying to provide for their families and accomplish their goals. And if I can provide them a system that works in their market and they're able to prosper, it's awesome. You know, so I love yeah. those stories. Yeah. And then, you know, the other side would be employees, you know, uh, giving them a place to work they really enjoy and feel feel at home at the at the business. Those are things that are really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's 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 um, reaching the expectations both for your customers as well as the employees. It's like reaching expectations. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. You don't want to you don't want to be uh, you know, a BS or I mm -hmm. probably don't swear on this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, no, you can, you can. But you know, people have said worse <laughs> yeah, words. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you know, you want to like you know, have integrity and say, here's what we're gonna do, and actually it, it meet ex meet or exceed expectations would right. be great. So that's when you really like exceed yeah. expectations. Yeah. Um, if you had a billboard and you could put on any message that you want, what would that message be? Um, live now, nice. like just live now. Why wait to do that trip or uh, try that new business or whatever it is that you've been thinking about doing? Just do it now and while you're alive and you can do it. You yeah, know? Yeah. So uh, we have that theme in our house. We we definitely try to do things and trips and we're about adventure and, and that kind of thing. So uh, we definitely want to live now and so I'd say live now. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Yeah. Um, talking about adventure, EO has probably been an adventure for you as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. How has it made a difference in your community, business, personal, and uh, family life? You know, I'd say like it's just enriching. You know, the relationships that you make with other entrepreneurs is huge. You know, these you really get to know each other because it's just a unique environment we can share openly. Mm -hmm. So it's really enriched um, my life having those deep relationships with other entrepreneurs. And I think it also, uh, from a mindset standpoint, lifts you up because a lot of these guys have got bigger businesses than I do, and, mm -hmm. you know, all that. So it's like lifts me up too, and and uh, opens up more possibilities for us. My wife too is in the uh, spousal form in EO too, so it's been enriching for her too the yeah. relationship. So yeah. yeah, my kids roll their eyes, EO this, EO that. A lot of EO talk around our house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah. From EO talk to Lego talk. Let's yeah. go to the next stage. All right. Yeah.